welcome in Star Trek Online. Today I will uh, play the new feature episode Stormbound. But before uh, transwarping there and uh, talking a little bit about it, uh, there's uh, some new features that I haven't uh, speak about. The first one that was implemented with the new episode is the split of the personal traits, which is something that was um, that have been asked by the players for a long time to cryptic and for once for the first time they have listened to us. So like you can see now, you have two box corresponding to the personal traits, one for the ground, one for the space. Actually, I don't know why I've unslotted uh, one here. Uh, but usually, you will have nine, nine traits. Of each and the rest with the new uh, the fifth that you can unlock in the lab. If you have like me an alien character, you will see that you have ten of each, ten ground and ten space. So it's allow you to slot one more because. Actually, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, maybe because as an alien species, you don't have some traits corresponding to uh, leadership for human. Uh, I don't remember which one is for the Klingon or Romulan operative, etc. So, if you want to make a new character, you will have, I think, I believe, an advantage making an alien. Because you will have 20, all in all. The second feature that they have uh, added to the game recently, it was like a, one week maybe before the new feature episode. Uh, when you go to your uh, shipyard and you talk to your ship selection, you will see that you have a dry dock. You can dry dock uh, ships that you want to keep, but that you don't want to discard or discharge. Uh, silver player have uh, five dry dock slots, and uh, gold player have ten. Be aware that when you dry dock. A ship, like you see, I had free shuttle, so I kept the Tojuj fighter and I dry dock the chariots and the Toron shuttle. When you dry dock a ship, all its equipment will uh, go back in your inventory. So if you are using your ship to store items that you want to keep for another ship, be aware that if you dry dock those ship, all your items will go back in your inventory. So let's go play the new feature episode. Stormbound. Our intelligence indicates increased Tholian activity in the Nakul system. Cal Dano believes they are trying to interfere with the Nakul with the Tox Uthat. Okay. I was thinking. Oh, first of all, I will show you. Uh, where is it? Here. Um, the new feature episode, like you always know now, is. Uh, based on three weeks and it rewards you this time a quantum phase uh, ship set in 
the difference with the sunrise episode that was given you a quantum phase weapon set. So, quantum phase deflector this week, next week the impulse engine and the shield. Uh, It might be interesting, you need to, to try it, I believe. The engine seems interesting, but, well, eh, it depends on what you are using, uh, etc. Um, there's one thing. And we will fight the Tholians. Um, with the new Terran battle zone, I was thinking that we will fight a little bit more the, th the Terran, but it seems that no, <laughs> for now at least. Already, uh, we have already made angry the new species, <laughs> telling them the truth that what's happening to them is our fault. Yes. Okay. Okay, I forgot to say you will board, you are about to board the uh, Tholian recluse ship and you will need an environmental suit. Uh, I will, when I will make the, the video, when I will build it, build it I will add it the note because <coughs> you will be able to uh, reclaim uh, I will show you you will be able to claim an envir 
and environmental suits in the shuttle. You see, get EV suit, but uh, my team is outside. A ridiculous again, bug. But you see, it's a basics one. And I personally will equip some that I claim or got free from other mission. Okay, team equipped, they will uh, automatically, when you enter the ship, they will switch it on if it's not bugged. <laughs> yeah, you see? And we start the fight. If you are not uh, used to fight Tholian, uh, do I have it? Yeah. There is two things that are uh, really uh, interesting to use against them. The Cryo Grenade, if I am correct, it's something that you can get in the winter event and of course the crystalline spike so um, where will I yeah okay I will do this because the crystalline spike can be uh, interesting at some The best is to use um, sonic anti-proton weapon or nuclear asset. So we arrive at the bridge. See the bug is that the door is open. was not complicated. He's got a nice uh, environmental suit.
to open a temporal portal, don't you think? Riza, early 22nd century. Even the tourists won't be in this region for a few years yet. No one will be looking for the quantum phase inhibitor here. Not now, anyway. Let's try that cave up ahead. It looks like a good spot. So, we learned that Ryza was not the holiday planet at in the 22nd century. Okay, let's go. We have to bury the toxins that. the device very well. I can't afford to let it fall into the wrong hands again. And the Vorgons are very persistent. So, uh, I have done this mission a couple times already. And I have noticed that you can select wherever area you want. It doesn't change nothing. No, that's too obvious. You need Anyone to try three it? times. That's better. But I still think it would be too easy to find. That's it. Someone will find it in a few hundred years. But that's a different story for a different guy. Let's get back to your time. We need to check on the Nakul. Okay. Nice weather on Ryza. Like he said, they haven't installed the weather control system yet. Nice animation for the temporal portal. We need to get back to the Nakul. that are speaking our languages. Wow. <laughs> and okay, we start like to fight. Yes, we we'll lose him. We if you remember the episode, a visit. 
temporal ambassador, you were beamed aboard this ship, this same ship, but for the first time we walk in it. Greetings. It's nice to see you again. Again, remember? Not that you remember. We need to scan the continuum for Caldana. Would you care to assist me? Yeah, of course. Nice console from the 25th century. Dead. What happened with Caldano? He's dead and it looks like he's been dead for centuries. No, this was meant to happen. Caldano went further back into the past than you knew. The NX-01 Enterprise, captained by Jonathan Archer, found his ship in the 22nd century, and his chief engineer activated Caldano's emergency temporal circuit, which returned the ship to its last known time. This one. But by the time that happened, Caldano had been dead for centuries. The Tops Luta is safe. It was found in the mid 24th century by Captain Jean Luc Picard, who destroyed it before it could be used to harm others. Are you saying something? In the same discussion, he mentioned Archer and Picard, two Star Trek series. Like they are pushing back to the original universe and to continue the story that we were watching a long time ago and that we loved. And for the first time, I think Cryptic is doing something interesting. Remember in uh, Star Trek Enterprise, Archer encountered a time traveler and he was speaking about the temporal Cold War. You could check Captain Archer's old blog. Exactly. You are entering a dangerous era in history. Time travel like warp drive before will radically change your society. I'll see you again. And Stormbound is complete! So, as I transwarp directly to the Nakul system, uh, you will notice that it's in the Alpha Quadrant, close to uh, Defera. So the reward, a quantum phase, or you have a possibility to uh, take uh, an emitter array, but it's bound on bind on pickup, so you won't be able to take it to sell it. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, it was a Stormbound Star Trek Online. See you again soon.